It's time to destroy some multi-million dollar airplanes in Ace Combat 2, a 1997 release from Namco for the original PlayStation. This is the second game in Namco's popular Ace Combat series, and even though it's a mid-90s release, it's totally playable and fun today. In fact, I highly recommend this game. It's super cheap. A coup d'etat broke out in the military. And I'm playing this on the PlayStation 3. The beauty of Ace Combat 2 lies in its simplicity. You fly airplanes and destroy enemies and then buy new airplanes and then destroy enemies again. If only everything were so simple. While some might say it looks like a graphically dated game today, I would say it looks pretty damned good for an original PlayStation release. You can easily make out what all of the airplanes are. It runs smoothly, it's a responsive, well-playing game, and the controls work pretty well using the standard old-school PlayStation setup with the D-pad and buttons. It's an arcade-style flight game where you fly around and destroy air targets and ground targets. Sometimes you can have a wingman that'll back you up, or a wingwoman. You can choose between Slash and Edge. That's right, two guitarists at your disposal. The Edge just looks better in a flight suit. As you might expect from this genre, you're flying against some really well-funded bad guys doing something evil with a bunch of airplanes and missiles and stuff. And it's your job to shut them down one mission at a time. It starts out really easy just to get you into the gameplay and then quickly ramps up in difficulty as Ace Combat 2 will throw a wide variety of enemies at you all at once like air targets, ground targets, missiles and then force you to fly through canyons on top of it all. It's just a great game. As most of you probably know, the Ace Combat series continues on to this day. After you play each of the missions, you earn a score, which you can then apply to buying new airplanes. Some planes are, of course, better than others at certain things. When do I unlock the Veritech fighter or jet fire? Those are the all-purpose jets you need in this game. The ones that transform. When you crash planes, you are billed for them. That's right, the government wants its money back. Are you still paying off your student loans? Well, how about a six trillion dollar airplane on top of that? Sorry, you're the one that crashed it. That's your incentive not to lose the game. The thing that's most impressive about Ace Combat 2 is that for a 1997 release, it plays like it could be brand new. It doesn't look like a brand new game, but it plays just as well. And I have a big thanks and shout out to our friend Laurie from Finland for donating Ace Combat 2 along with Afterburner 3 and Tomcat Alley. While you're flying, keep an eye out for other Ace pilots, by the way. They're the ones that are better than the standard enemy opponents, like ZOE. Must be a fan of Zone of the Enders. Anybody see an aircraft carrier around here that needs some destroying? I love the simple and effective way that holding down the square button pulls up the big map on the left. This game just revels in its simplicity, it really does. Holding the R1 button accelerates, the L1 button breaks, and the L5 button transforms into a tank. Or was it a coffee pot? Maybe I dreamed that. For a couple bucks, you can easily find Ace Combat 2 for your PlayStation 1, 2, or 3. The game packs some nice replay value in the fact that you can play missions again for a high score and the fastest time. It's Ace Combat 2 for the original PlayStation.